While we were away, we mined 43 billion picks, plus a whole bunch of rare materials. And whatever's in the sky. Meteorite, ruby, diamond, enchantment. That's the free chest, it's probably not gonna have anything too great in it. I got one of the wheels of doom already, so as long as this lands on something good, it'll set the tone for the entire video. Mmm, I'll take it. And as much fun as I would have saving up for the Endurium figurine for 1400 extra PPs, I'm already making 128,000 PPs a second, and um, I'm out of levels. So we're just gonna go ahead and prestige right away because that's going to give us a whole bunch of things to unlock. And here we are, right back to the beginning. Do we get to pick our pickaxes still? Okay, well, if that's the case, I'm going back to whatever this one was. Oh, and we're even still making 128,000 PPs. We got to unlock the levels again, but that means I'm ready to level up. And we can start upgrading as soon as we have those materials, so auto-click away. We're going to mine so fast that we're going to start having things flying around mining for us. But let's start our buying frenzy. We're going to buy those, and then those, and then those, and then those, and those. Which brings us a little bit closer to 128,000. The upgrades are going to be a little bit slower first, but we're going to get them. We don't have any new options for pickaxes yet. We do still have a bunch that we never did get before, like the pumpkin pickaxe. But I'm sure we're going to unlock more as we go. We'll buy that for now since it's only 50 pumpkins. And it's the same power as my current pickaxe. And it looks like a pumpkin. And it has a very Halloween-themed superpower. Decided to try the block randomizer, and we're going to get whatever that one was. Next, we're going to buy Jiggy Clay Shovel, the hoe, the wooden axe, uh, that, that, that. That, paper 2 and we can't quite afford the clay pot but we do want it. I want to try and keep up with the upgrades this time. And there's the clay pot which brings us up to 128,162 PPs. And then it's time for the desert. And I'm going to assume by the way those tools are glowing that they're getting extra PPs. On top of me already making currently 640,000 picks per second. What do you think is in an ender chest? It takes three eyes of ender so that means there's got to be something good in there. While I'm debating making a very stupid decision I'm going to fight the boss. And this is a new one so I'm just going to click on it a lot because that usually works one way or another. Okay, we gotta fight the creepers at those that is. Maybe I have seen this before. And that rewards us with everything you see here. Probably the little gorg is the most valuable thing because eventually that will add up into something better. I'm gonna hold off on the ender chest, but I am gonna buy a few other things. Uh, notably anything I can turn into sand or glass and also the cactus pieces. And that's gonna bump me all the way up to 128,000 picks per second. And I think that concludes the desert for now. I need to move on to where we can get ice stuff. I may or may not be missing some of this stuff along the way to get this stuff but we'll come back and get it later if that's the case and i guess with my 84 billion picks i could probably level up a few times although to be fair i'm not really sure what i would even be upgrading at this point i can make things a little bit cheaper i guess that's not even really anything adds one ability slot why not i should probably mostly uh what is that sound oh it's one of these guys i love these guys they stop by and usually reward me with the worst possible thing but maybe we'll get lucky today uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and take those sand blocks of which i mine a thousand per second but also upgrade ability seeker what i really want to work up to is guarantees at least one rare block and free chests i get a lot of free chests uh so oh this also increases the chance so i'm gonna level up as many more times as i can and then we're going to start to work towards unlocking that one. And we can also actually add the chance to find a pickaxe in a free chest. So now we also have that. I'm not going to upgrade anymore. I want to save my 52 billion picks for now in case I need it later for a level up. For now, we're going to go play in the tundra and I'm going to add an ability here. And then pretty much just get to work doing this and using my abilities until we have enough for the upgrades. Didn't really mean to hit that one, but we'll get some random block, hopefully a rare one. And we get, I think, sand. So not great, but that's okay. We're making ice and sapphires at a pretty good rate. And I'm pretty sure, like many games, this is going to be all about the prestiging. So we need to have enough picks to prestige at the end of it, and then we'll get more blocks the next time we do it. And we do currently have 52 billion of them, but that number's only going to go up and up and up and up. I couldn't really help myself, so I ended up buying one of these just kind of on a whim. So now I have a legendary quality ender pickaxe. And it does 38 damage, so that's more than anything I've had so far. And I'm not sure yet if it's better than the eye of the ender pickaxe, which cost 25 of these. I have 18 currently because some came with the pickaxe. But for now, we're just going to use this and mine and hopefully something good happens. It should be a little bit quicker at mining, so that's all that really matters. And there's a special ability. Hopefully I find more of those. We actually did. We got 19 of those now, so this is going to work out great. I'm glad I got this. And I am assuming that the Eye of Ender pickaxe is better than this because it's timeless quality, whereas this is legendary. But I'm sure we'll get to that eventually. For now, I do have the most powerful pickaxe available. Plus, we're going to add some extra peepees. We 
still don't quite have enough to get everything here, but that shouldn't take too long. A few minutes later, we've got enough for the Jagged Ice Hoe and the Jagged Ice Sword. We're still saving up for the last few things. Not entirely sure how many any things we have, but we have enough for the Sapphire Amulet, the Winter Gloves, the Ice Sculptures, and the Snow Cone, so we're good enough to move on to the new level. And that's at only 130,000 picks per second, which means we get to start the process all over again, but look at all those PPs we can earn. I mostly really just want this pickaxe to mind me more Eyes of Ender, so I can hopefully unlock what's hopefully a better pickaxe. So it looks like it is going to do it. Every time it hits its power, we get another eye. Although this pickaxe does feel a little slow against some of these materials here. I think the materials are just getting stronger though. So basically, all I have to do is wait for this power again and again and again, and have, then I'll have enough eyes to do whatever I want. I already have 22 of them, which could buy a lot of Ender chests, but I want this pickaxe before anything. The cooldown on his power is 8, 9 minutes, something like that. I need to use it 3, 4 more times, so I'll be back in a while. Well, I've got 24 of the 25 eyes I need for my new pickaxe, but for now we've also mined up a lot of blocks, so I'm going to enjoy like four upgrades while I wait because these are getting harder and harder to get. But I did save up enough of the other resources to get Clock 2, Lantern 2, and Sharpening Stone 2. So 135,000 PPs we'll call it. Progress is slow, but consistent. Yeah, this power makes Eye of Ender number 25. Oh, just kidding. It didn't give me one that time for some reason. That's okay, I've got nothing but time. We're gonna take our business to the nether for the time being and mine stuff there for a little while. I need a change of scenery. Plus, it's getting incredibly slow to mine things like 100 diamonds. While I'm waiting, we're gonna get the beautiful jagged nether chest plate. Also, the jagged nether leggings, jagged ruby boots, ruby chest plate, and then we're out of resources again. One thing I never noticed before is I can actually upgrade some of these pickaxes if I have enough of the right materials. Like, I can upgrade my Frankenpie pickaxe, now it does 38 damage, equal to this one my uh, ender chest pickaxe but i'm gonna continue to use this one because i still need those eyes lots of them okay it definitely worked this time there's our 25th eye time to find out if it's worth it spending all 25 right here so far so good let's see what we know about this thing it also has a power of 38 so it's equivalent to the one i was just using it is also a legendary pickaxe and it randomly teleports to all biomes i was kind of hoping it would have a lot more power than it currently has but as my special ability meter charges up we're gonna get to teleport something. Somewhere. And I'm not really sure if that's good or bad or what that's going to be. Oh, it just takes us everywhere all while it's using its power. So we're in the nether, now we're in the ocean, mining some ocean blocks. Now we're in the desert where we've already been, and back to the mesa where we've also already been. Twilight Forest is a good one though. So as fun as this is, mining an assortment of blocks in places we haven't yet been, I don't really see a great use to this. It is kind of a cool looking pickaxe though. I think what I maybe should have done is bought the Transcend Player Tree and Transcend Idol Tree because that can actually boost my skills up to make me stronger. But it's never too late. While I'm at it, I want to try this. Unlocks auto-clicking by clicking and holding. But then we can also increase this 10 whole levels to make it quicker. And then this to increase the damage of it. I don't know how many levels I can unlock right now, but it's probably not going to be more than seven. So we could buy seven levels here because we're going to need to have that maxed out before we buy that one. And I kind of wish I did this a while ago because this is probably actually pretty good. No, I don't know. This is me holding it down. This is me auto-clicking. The auto-clicker still seems to be faster. And now I'm back down to like a billion picks in total. Do you think this pickaxe is better? Well, at the very least, we get a pink chest out of the deal. So we get pumpkins, gold, uh, hardened clay, red cactus, sapphires. Actually, quite a lot of quantities of these things. So this maybe isn't too bad, depending on what it gives me. The blows of fire are interesting. Cows are not. Raw beef is always good. And we got necro totem. In fact, we got a whole bunch of these purple items. So hopefully those are pretty good. And a luck potion, which I really like the sound of. Lots of good items from a single chest but I'm mostly interested in that pickaxe because I want to know how good it is and what it does. It can't look like that and not be good. This is called Sono's Pickaxe. It is another legendary. It's the same strength as the last two Ender ones. And its power is to play music and break blocks. So no thanks. I want to go back to collecting eyes because those are what are really going to give me the good value. We are currently making 136,000 Fix per second, but we can still do much better than that. There's another eye. Plus, whatever those chests gave me is going to get me a few more upgrades. And then it's back to the waiting game, mining more blocks. Sometime later, we have three eyes of Ender. I was kind of hoping to have enough for an Ender amulet already, but since we don't, we'll have to settle for an Ender chest. Contains legendary items that are only found in Ender chests. Only has room for one legendary Ender item. Yeah, that's fine by me. Probably should have drank that luck potion before opening this. Not sure it would have mattered. Ability buffer? W was that it? Buff the next ability used. That's all I got. That's probably pretty good. 
but I was kind of hoping for something a little more exciting. Well, at least now, the next time I open one of those, I can buff extra luck to get extra extra luck. Not sure if it matters, but I'm going to try. Uh, aside from that, we've gathered a whole bunch of stuff that we can use for upgrades, but before I do anything, I'm going to unlock the Mesa. I really don't want to have to remine all that netherite. But this is also going to add a lot of PPs. There's 450, 380, 525, 510, 88, which brings us up to just under 140,000 picks per second, otherwise known as a lot of picks. And I have over 500 of the pink powders. I'm just not really sure what I should use those for, but at least we're still mining all the things we need, rubies, topaz, and mesa blocks. Wait, I can use the pink powder to refresh pickaxe and abilities. Does that actually work? Oh, so we can get Eyes of Ender this way, potentially. That's interesting, because I wouldn't mind opening another one of these chests while we're waiting. I can confirm that the first use of my ability did not yield me an Eye of Ender, but I do have enough of these blocks to get at least one little itsy bitsy upgrade. So let's refresh and do it all again. And that's two openings without an Eye of Ender. So we're gonna try that one more time. If we don't get an Eye of Ender, we'll maybe change our strategy. And another opening with zero eyes to be had. Well, since that plan failed, let's open a large gold chest, because there's even potential to get something missing. Mythical. I'm not sure if that's better than legendary, but we'll find out. I did get one blow of fire, which is a very rare block as far as I know, so that's a good find. Other than that, nothing too exciting as far as I can tell. Then I maybe added some more of the purple dust, just because I want to see what's in these chests more so. I think we opened one of these earlier, and I think it gave us pretty good stuff. Whatever the case, we're going to open another one. May contain amazing, amazing, mythical, great. Let's see what all this amazing, mythical stuff is. When I think of stuff that is mythical or amazing, jungle logs aren't the first thing to come to mind. Coffee beans, however, are. Topaz is pretty good. Diamonds are not bad. Pumpkins are pumpkins. The Fable of Pearls looks like it's got to be something pretty rare but I don't know for sure. Ice Hearts plus 17, another 17 of those. And I did get a new ability and a strength potion, more of that, and a drill, and also Snowball. I'm not sure what in there was worth it, if anything. Okay, so the ability I got was actually legendary. Grants instant block break. All minor reload, apply cryostat, which can cool down the sun. I don't really know what a lot of that means, but we're going to try it out as soon as we can. In the meantime, we are going to buy every upgrade we possibly can, which isn't going to be a ton, but it's going to be enough for now to keep me entertained. Despite how long this is taking, we are actually up to 146,000 picks per second. While well, we're waiting for a cooldown to end, let's just jump through this and try and get another eye. Though I just realized that in itself resets the cooldown so I can use my new ability soon. Or like, right now. So if I boost it first and then use it, I have some massive block breaking potential, I think. What if we add our drill to that too? Does that also work? Uh, our ability did not find us another eye, by the way, which really isn't a great surprise because I don't think it can find us anymore right now. But on the bright side of things, we can get a hardened clay bowl, which actually adds about 500 PPs. And then the ancient map for another 500 picks per second. So we're up to 148,000 picks per second, getting close to 150. Since I have the powder, we might as well use it. So let's start the drill, uh, add some luck, extra boost our superpower and then just watch things go and then we're going to open our thing with our pickaxe probably not finding an eye of ender because i think i'm limited to how many of those i can find in a period of time and i've already found them all but that new ability really works great find a whole bunch of crap when i have that activated so all we need is another 200 of these to hit the jungle luckily i know a bit of a shortcut now we can just keep doing this as much as we want then we can mine a whole bunch of blocks in a real big hurry. See what even one flurry of that thing did? Brought me all the way up to 461 out of 514. Alright, well we had our fun in this place. Let's go to the jungle to unlock some new crap. And just to give us another little head start, I'm going to keep using this uh, once my drill goes away. Because I don't want to wait. I'd rather start using all my abilities all at once. And then I can mine a whole bunch of blocks and then I don't have to play the waiting game. Because as much as I love the waiting game, it takes a long time. Definitely finding a lot of gems in a hurry though by doing that. Mm, we can upgrade this a long ways along because we had excess other parts. Still not at 150,000 PPs, but we're getting close. I just need this amazing legendary pickaxe to be about 10 times stronger. I don't think I'm going to be able to play this game without using this ability constantly now because it's just so much quicker to do it this way. Because every time I do that, I basically get new upgrades. Maybe not two of them, but at least one of them, and those are fairly expensive by themselves. Plus, I already unlocked the ocean, and I just got to the jungle. Plus, on top of that, I get Eyes of Ender from my pickaxe when it actually decides to give me some. But because it's being difficult and playing hard to get, we'll pick this up another day when it wants to actually give me what I want. But fun fact, we've mined over 100 billion picks. 